men, with help from mules, began construction on the famed Wright's High School football field in the early 1920s on a flat spot of land just behind the newly constructed school. History teacher John Carl says the land they chose eventually became the crown jewel of Southern Indiana high school football history. Today, we call it the Wright's Bowl. But this was a natural valley, and there was a natural flat spot behind the school. Um, I interviewed a guy that played on the first rights football team, Albert Fisher, who was here when the school opened, and he was, uh, he was 99 years old, and he talked about playing on the flat spot behind the school before the bowl was built. What Albert Fisher experienced was nothing like what players today feel when competing in front of sizable crowds and a rowdy student section. And he described how people would bring blankets and sit on the hill and watch the games. And in the earliest picture of the bowl under construction, you can see they're, they're, they have mules and slip scrapers, and they're starting to pour concrete to, to form the seats. And you can see the retaining wall at the base of the hill to stop the erosion. But you can also see a goal post in a field that's already laid out in the space where the field is today. In the first season, the bowl only featured 3,600 seats far from the number needed to make it Vandenberg County's largest sports venue today. You'll see when you look at some of the old games, some of those classic games back in the 40s and 50s and 60s, um, the newspaper said there are 12,000, 13,000, 14,000 people. The bowl eclipses more modern sports venues like the Ford Center and the former Roberts Stadium. If we combine the games played by Wrights, Modern Day, and Evansville College, the bowl has hosted more than 1,200 football games, a number of city track meets, and even baseball, and at one time, a three-ring circus in the 1940s. The field inside the bowl is named after legendary Wrights coach Herman Byers, who helped christen the field in 1922 while playing for the Central Bears. The final score, Central 42, writes nothing. The Panthers have certainly had a lot more success since then, and many young men have carved out their small spot in history at a place we know as the Wrights Bowl. Tommy Mason, 44 News.